welcome back everyone so recently i found a tool for windows user that is really safe and comes with many useful features that all the windows user can enjoy so without wasting any time let's get started and check this free and the best tool so on your windows 10 or 11 bring up any of your favorite browser and in the browser you have to type glary utilities and you will be getting the first link glary utilities glary soft you will have to click on it and on their website you can read here it says the number one free powerful and all-in-one utility for cleaning your pc boosting pc speed and fixing frustrating error crashes and freezes so click on free download and it's a small file of around 26 mb so it will be quickly downloaded click on the downloaded file click on yes the third page will be up now here you have to click on next click on i agree click on next and here you can uncheck this option that says join the customer experience improvement program and then click on install and then click on finish and the glary utilities box will be up and it looks very neat and clean now once you come here it says the overview section where it show you your windows boot time and that's really an amazing feature because no other utility give you that option that how soon your windows 11 or 10 is booting up so on my end you can see my windows 11 it is taking around 18 seconds so it's showing me that particular time and it will also give you an option on the right hand side of the startup manager where you can disable many kind of unwanted application that slow down the booting time of your windows 10 or 11 and here you can see it shows me all kind of application that are being enabled or disabled on my end this can be different on your computer depending that what kind of application you have installed now here you have to look for all the third party application that you can manually open whenever you need it like google drive whenever i need i can open it so i will disable it microsoft edge whenever i need to browse it i can open it no need to open from the startup onedrive i will disable it security hell i will keep it as it is now part of the startup application it gives you many other options like schedule task and it gives you the detail that what all the programs are being scheduled so whichever you think you don't need you can go ahead and disable them from here as well so keep in mind this is the part of the optimization that you're doing in order to reduce the booting time of your computer so that your computer should boot faster and it shows you different kind of extensions so whichever you don't need or not required you can go ahead and disable them then you have the application services here also you can look for the application then you have windows services uh, whichever service you don't need like it recommend you the background intelligent transfer service and it's really recommended that you should go ahead and disable it and even it shows you that how much difference it will create and for background intelligence it shows around 0.1 second and then you also have the background task infrastructure service and the base filtering engine if you want to disable them then you can disable them now once you are done go ahead and close it and here you'll find many other options like enabling the deep cleaning and the fixing enabling automatic maintenance now these are the pro version and i think you can go with the manual option so let's come with the first option that says one click maintenance and if i click on it it gives you different option like you can go with the registry cleaner if there is any kind of problem it will automatically fix it shortcut fixer the disk repair tracks eraser temporary file cleaner in order to remove the temporary file and fix many kind of problem a startup manager check all these options click on repair issues and once the scan will be completed you can see it says registry cleaner the issue has been solved shortcut fixer the issue has been solved disk repair there was not any issue so it told me that no issues were found so very useful tool and you can run this scan at least once in a week or whenever you have any kind of problem then you have clean up and repair you can click on it and here you get different kind of options and keep in mind these all options are free absolutely free first one is the disk cleanup now it says 343.01 mb and on the right hand side it says start cleaning now here you can choose what exactly you want to clean what exactly you want to scan so here you can check the options or you can uncheck it and then finally you can click on start cleaning and it will start cleaning these kind of file and create some extra 
space in your storage drive and once it will be completed it says 0 MB that means that we have successfully cleared all the temporary file again I can close it then you have the registry repair now here it will be just scanning all your registry and if there is any kind of issues it will let you know and then you can go ahead and fix any kind of problem so on my end there is no issues but if on your end if it find any kind of issues then you can simply click on fix the registry issues and it will be fixing all kind of registry problem similarly you can go back and click the shortcut fixer that correct the error in your start menu and desktop shortcut so many times you might have a problem where many kind of shortcuts are being created so for that you can click on it and again it will be scanning you can also go with the advanced option click on advanced scan and it will ask you that which exactly drive you want to scan so let's see if i want to go with the c drive only then i will click on scan now and after scanning if it find any kind of shortcut or any kind of infection it will let you know and then you can easily delete it then you have the duplicate file finder so if you have multiple duplicate file on your computer that is another common problem with all the windows user so here only you can enjoy this tool select the drive where you feel you have duplicate file then you have to click on scan and after scanning it will let you know that where exactly you have the duplicate file you can select them and delete it from here only and so on you get many other options like context menu manager uninstall manager that is another important tool that is very similar to the revo uninstaller and from here only you can uninstall many kind of bloatware or many kind of application completely from your drive so for example let's say if i want to uninstall the microsoft edge so i will select it then i will make a right click on it and here you will find four different options like uninstall this program remove the entry modify properties or refresh it so i will click on uninstall this program then it will ask you do you want to create a restore point before uninstalling so i don't want to create it but if you want to create then you can create it select the program click on uninstall and this will be completely removing the microsoft edge or any other application completely from your computer and it shows you that it deleted from the file in folder from the registry and from the server so click on delete and the microsoft edge is now being completely removed from my computer similarly you get many different categories like large program rarely used program even if to give you a recommendation that you don't use these kind of uh, bloatware then i can go ahead and uninstall this bloatware from here only similarly you can also uninstall the windows update or windows application okay now let's come with another category that is optimize and improve and here you can manage the startup manager disk defrag memory optimizer and if i click on it so it gives you an option here that shows you the cpu usage the physical memory usage graph and it gives you an option here manual optimization please indicate the amount of memory you want to be free up and then click on optimize so in case if your ram or the memory usage is going very high and if you want to free up some space then select the amount of space you want to free up and click on optimize at the moment you click on optimize it will start optimizing the amount and free up some space so very useful feature again you can check it out then you have the registry defrag where you can click on it you can click on next click on ok and it will be analyzing the registry and it will defrag to make any kind of changes you can check this feature as well then you have the check disk option the driver manager and the software update now let's come to the privacy and security and here it gives you many options that you can manage to uh, keep your privacy and enable the most security feature first one is the track eraser that says erase all the traces evidence cookies internet history and many more things and it's really important and very recommended to all the user that keep erasing the traces evidence all kind of cookies so that nobody can access your information so click on track eraser and it is start scanning it and show me that 31 privacy issues now simply you have to click on erase check track click on yes and now you will be all done so very simple to operate and it's really recommended that you should run this at least once in a week similarly you have the file undelete quick and effective way to retrieve accidentally deleted file another amazing feature 
so you can check this option as well then you have the file encryptor that says protect your file from unauthorized access and use so here basically you can add any kind of file and you can encrypt it with any kind of password and make many more other changes then it gives you the browser assistant file shredder and the process manager option all right now let's move with the next topic that is file and folder and it gives you the disk space analyzer and if you click on it click on ok so it will be basically analyzing the disk and give you some kind of recommendation that from where you can clear some kind of a space then you have the file splitter that says split large file into a smaller manageable file and then rejoin them quick search locate file and folder by name instantly now this is another very important tool because many time people have the problem with the window search where they try to search any kind of file but they are not unfortunately getting it so instead you can use this quick search option now here you can look for any kind of file folder or any kind of text document anything simply type the name and it will search for you so let's see if i type crown so it shows me the crown doc that is on my desktop so it shows me even the location and i can make a right click on it and directly open it from here then you have the system tool option so if you click on it you have the system information where you can find out all the detail about your computer operating system the memory about your ram drive display network so many other details that you can grab using this tool then you have the registry backup so if you want to create a backup of your registry then you can do that a registry restore repair system file so again you can click on repair system file and if you have any issues with your windows then it will be surely trying to fix it system backup system restore undo changes so these are the options that you get for absolutely free and this tool is really lightweighted and very safe i recommend every windows user to install this tool right now as i'm very sure that after watching their features of course you will love this tool so let me know in the comment section guys that did you love this tool or not give your feedback to me in the comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video bye bye